uh, lesson seven, grade five. So I'll do number one and number four. Okay, so number one is pretty simple. If there is a zero and if there, okay, if there was a zero in like any of these equations, then basically it's always gonna be a zero property. And let's do number four. Uh, this would be associative property. So associative property would this basically means that despite like the parentheses, these two uh, things will always like stay the same. So, yep, that's it for page one. And let's do page two. So I'll do one and six, sure. Wow, I cannot get this to work. Okay, 12 times six. That is not a six, six. That is not a six, six. That is a speak bubble. That is also a speech bubble I need this computer to know what a 6 is okay so 12 times 6 this would be uh, 6 times 2 equals 1 6 times 1 equals 6 carry the 7 so I'll carry the 1 that would equal 72 for number 1 Uh, did I say six? Yeah, I, I think so. I think I did. So 31 times nine. So nine times one would be nine and geez. Okay, we're gonna pretend this is a nine now. And nine times three would be 27. So this would be the answer for six. Okay. Okay, so this one's gonna be a little bit harder. So 34, that's not the mark button. 34 times 21. So basically four times one equals four. four uh, three times one would be three. And in this case, you need a placeholder, so you'll just use zero here. And two times four equals eight, and two times three equals six. Six. That's not exactly a six. Sure, six. And then you get these two numbers that you multiplied, and you just add them. So that'll be four, that'll be one, and that'll be seven since you carried out the one. And uh, I'll do number five. Seven times 50. So zero times seven equals zero. Zero times seven would be equal zero. Use zero here as a placeholder. And 5 times 7 equals 35. And we already know 7 times 5 equals 35. Carry the 3. 3. Carry out the 3. And this would be 
3,850. All right, next page. And the last page. Okay. So <clears throat> let's do two and uh, six. So this one's going to be a little bit more difficult just because there's simply more numbers. Uh, my advice would be uh, put the number with more digits on top because it will just be a lot easier since you don't need a lot more placeholders. So it will just be 190. That's not a nine. Okay, we're going to pretend that's a nine. <laughs> no, I can't do that. Okay. 190. 190 times 6. 6. Okay, so 6 times 0 equals 0. 6 times 9 equals 54. And six times one equals six, carry out the five, so that would be 11. You use one, you use zero as a placeholder. One times zero equals zero. One times nine equals nine. One times nine times one equals. One times nine equals nine, and uh, one times nine equals nine, and one times one equals one. So you just add these together, like what you did in the last page, or what I did in the last page, and you just add these together. And if you carry out the one, this should be three thousand forty. Yep. All right, let's do six, right? Did I say six? I probably said six. Okay, 105, I said a five. 105 times 88. Oh wow, this is gonna be a lot of zeros in this one. Okay, five times four, five times eight equals 40 and then Eight times a zero, it would be zero, but there's a four, so you carry out the four. And eight times one equals eight. And then there's, you use this as a placeholder. This would be zero. No, this would be 40, because you multiplied five with 80. Then you carry out another four, and eight times zero equals uh, zero, but you carry out the four, and eight times one equals eight, and you get if you add these together, you should get nine thousand two hundred forty. All right, that's all.